Hey everyone, welcome to the new 2 to 1 scale Hailfire Droid tutorial. Um, the last time we did one was 2018 and it looked very, very different to this. I've done a few iterations of this since, but none have uh, been worthy of a tutorial, let's say. Looks very, very nice. Um, obviously, the, the, wheel, the wheel shape worked out really well. Um, I, I think compared to the 2018 one, um, it's just leaps and bounds. I don't think I was using walls back then, and walls are really good for making um, accurate circles. So I use a lot of them nowadays. Um, yeah, it just looks looks good all around. Completely different color scheme, really, from the previous one. Um, there will be a... I'm sorry about the lag, by the way. I don't, I don't know why this is happening. Um, a custom banner about halfway through. Just uses four um, dies on it, and then... Yeah, you get a nice shield for the for the cannon down there. Anyway, let's kick off the build with layer number one. So, all right, so we're going to do layers one to three now. Uh, we'll need these materials: so terracotta, polished andesite, light grey concrete, polished andesite stairs, polished andesite slab, polished granite slab. Uh, you'll need grey carpet as well. Uh, stone brick wall, then a temporary block here. I'm going to use sponge. Spruce button, iron trap door, iron bars, light grey stained glass pane, birch trap door, and then this black stained glass, you don't need this for the build, I just need it because I will need to knock one of these blocks out, and I obviously want to replace it. So start with the sponge, and do one and two, and then we are going to kind of go like up and out like that by one on each side. And uh, just remember the green line is the front of the build, the red line is the back. Do another one there, there as well, so you've got this one gap in the middle. And I would suggest just doing another one on the back end there as well, like that. So you've kind of got this little gap here in the middle. Um, I suppose the easier way you could have done that is to just do three up, two out, and then one on the back. Um, you want to take that birch trap door, we just need this once, and that's going to go there. And then just put that away for now. Okay. So taking the temporary blocks again... Um, I have this marked out, you don't necessarily need it. I'm just going to put three sponge there, three there as well. And that's a gap of one between what we've done and the uh, the pillars there like that. And then with the terracotta, that's going to be three, like that. And then polished ira uh, sorry, granite slab. Yeah, there we go, one and two. One and two. And then the polished andesite slab goes on top of it. And you want to take the iron trap door, and that's going to be one there, there as well, just like that. Do a terracotta block there and there with a grey carpet on top. And there we go, one and two. And then another polished granite slab, one, two, three, four. We want that spruce button now, and this is where we do the uh, underside bit here. So just uh, knock down into your ground layer and do one there. Um, and then another one at the front. And again, we'll just do the rest. There we go. And that represents a little bit of tread detail. So there we are. All right, taking the polished andesite stairs on the back half, um, we'll work on this bit first. So one stair goes there, a full block on top. A slab here and then a light gray concrete there we'll just do the same on this side one two three and four blocks taking the iron bars and the stem brick wall so do a stem brick wall on the very back there one and two another one on that polished andesite block on both sides and then on the outside one only so this one here that's going to be a iron bar there and there as well. And then on the inside one, which is here, that's a light grey stained glass pane, one and two. Okay. Coming to the front here, we're going to do a very very similar thing. Very, very similar. Um, but very slightly different. So this time it's two polished andesite stairs, full block, um, and then the uh, light grey concrete, and then the stone brick wall. Stone brick wall there and there. And then this time it's just light grey stained glass panes on both of them. So only that one on the outside of the wheel should be a iron bar. Just a bit of uh, variety with the with the materials and the textures and that. 
And again, we'll just do the same on this side. We'll not forget those slabs as well. We've got some slabs to do in a second. Um, and that's just going to go top half there, top half there. And that mirrors what we did here at the back. And yeah, I believe that's going to do it for layers one, two, and three. So let's move on to layer number four. Right, so for layer number four, uh, we need these materials. So we need stone. Um, and I guess if you want to sort these first, these are the materials from last layer that we don't need for this one. So just put those up here. Um, these ones are new as well. Deep Slate Tile Wall, Dark Oak Sign, Grindstone, and Dark Oak Fence Gate. And then these are the ones on the bottom row that we're going to be using. So stone, Polished Andesite, Light Grey Concrete, uh, Observer, Grey Concrete, Stone Brick Wall, and then the Light Grey Stained Glass Pane, the Iron Bars, and the Iron trapdoor. Uh, we actually want to start with the deep slate tile wall so just grab that put that on top of the birch fence gate. No birch trapdoor sorry. And then the dark oak fence gate goes in front of it and joins up. And then the grindstone we want to do uh, one there facing that way like that. Two more dark oak fence gate this time they are going to be facing towards that grindstone. And then one set of dark oak sign, one and two there on that side. And that's the bottom laser turret, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what weapon it is specifically, but there you go. Uh, we will take the tempered lock just one second and do a sponge there and there. Iron trap door top half. And again, we need a stone slab, which I don't think I've got, which is typical behavior from me. Always forgetting something. So there we go. Stone slab one and two. These are top half by the way. And then there's going to be a bottom half stone slab just next to it. So you're kind of going to have to um, do that. There we go. I'm sure there's an easier way you could have done it, but you know, this is it's me we're talking about. Three grey concrete. Um, to do the three like that along the center line and again one, two, and three. Um, now we need to do observers. Um, I'm going to do this slightly different, actually. We're going to start, so let's get to the left side to begin with. Go out like that and out like that. So you've got a five gap in the middle. And do polished andesite on the back end. So red line, two stone, two light gray concrete. And then on the front end, the same thing again. So two and two. Uh, we'll just do these bits and get them out of the way now. Uh, so that's two stone brick walls there on the stone and on the inside as well. And again, same with uh, with this one. So two, two there. Then the iron bars, that's going to be one just there to join up to that stone brick wall. And again, one here to join up to that stone brick wall. Do a iron bars there, there, and there. And then a light gray stained glass pane, one and two. And then on this end, it's the same thing with the uh, light gray iron bars. And then one iron bar on the end. And then observers, just do five across like that. Doesn't matter which way the arrows are facing, as long as they're facing either left or right, just so you've got that grey side there. Um, and that's that's it for the for the left hand side. So let's do the right hand side now, um, just a little bit quicker, I think, because uh, I've already shown you one side. So we'll just do these bits, get these out of the way. Um, hope you like the new tutorial error, by the way. I worked uh, really hard on hard on this, so. Yeah, it's it's uh, a big upgrade, more fitting with the theme I think compared to the sort of almost medieval village theme that we had before, which uh, cloning about worked really hard on that. Um, but yeah, obviously I think it's uh, a little bit off theme. And sorry if you heard the dogs bark then; that was kind of unavoidable at this point. Um, anyway, carrying on because I am getting distracted. There we go, just like that, to there, to there, and then the light grey stained glass panes. Um, so yeah, new tutorial area after after a, a while. Um, 
Ah, okay, one iron bar there and one there. That's what was missing. There we go. And yeah, um, that's going to do it for this layer. Let's move on up to the next one, which is going to be layer number five now. So let's go. All right, for this next layer up, main materials you need are stone, light grey concrete, grey concrete, uh, polished andesite stairs, polished granite stairs, deep slate tile slab, you need that, uh, dark oak trap door, get that as well, dark oak fence gate, and then brown banner. Now this is a custom brown banner. You can just use a normal one, but with um, adding uh, black and brown dye to it, makes it a little bit better. This is essentially the shield on the bottom turret down here. Um, a little a little guard for it, really. Um, and if you want to do that, it's just a black cross and then a brown pale sinister on top of that, a brown pale dexter on top of that, and then a black base gradient to finish that off. You don't necessarily need the black base gradient, but it does, I don't know, I guess, adds the realism, sort of. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off down here doing a light grey concrete in the middle. Polished granite stairs upside down are going to surround that, like so. And then dark oak trapdoor on the back, obviously on the red line, one, two, and then one and two. We can delete these temperature locks now as well. Okay. So just grab your uh, dark oak fence gate here, one there like that, and flip it. And then this is where the brown banner goes, just there. And it should join up with the uh, cannon down at the bottom there. So yeah, pretty uh, neat trick. Get rid of that because you don't need that again. There we go. Um, with the polished and sight stairs, you're going to do one uh, just there like that. And then another one just here. And then a deep slate tile slab one and two. Like that. So you've got obviously the, the bottom um, connector there and then this top one as well. But cool. Uh, Grey concrete one, two. And you do actually need uh, deep slate tile stairs now, which I didn't grab. But there we go. One, two, one, two, just to round that off. So that's nice. Um, polished underside stairs. Basically, you want to put one on the uh, outside uh, observer there and then one here as well. And then with the stone, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Light grey concrete, one, two. One, two. Um, and then you want the andesite wall this time. The stone brick wall, iron bars, and light grey stained glass pane. With the andesite wall, that's one and two. And then a stone brick one there. On the inside, same thing again. This gap here light grey stained glass pane and then iron bars iron bars and this is a stone brick wall like that and do the uh, exact same on the other side so one stone brick wall two underside walls um, light grey iron bars and then the stone brick wall there and then again we'll just do it on this side and um, so uh, one, two, three, three, stair there, stair here. I think there is meant to be something on top of this, but on my reference model that I'm using, there's nothing there, so I'm going to pause in a second and uh, just check uh, what is meant to be there, because I'm pretty sure that does get covered up. So again, just mirroring over what we did over there, um, just like so. And then we can move on to the next one. Uh, there we are. Almost there. Two and two and one and one. Stairs are already done, so that's fine. And that is going to do it, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to double check if there's something on top of here. And we'll be back in uh, literally one second. And I will add a block if there is. So there actually isn't. Um, the top of these observers is exposed. And I am actually going to change that. I'm going to add three grey carpets on top. So I am changing the uh, the model that you saw in the intro very slightly. Um, oh, actually, no. I still have to record the intro, believe it or not. Um, I actually started the build without doing the intro. So that's going to be after. So the, the reference model will have those, I think. Because I, I can just add those. So that's fine. Um, yeah, that's it for that layer. Let's move on up to the the next one.
So for this one, uh, quite a few new materials down here. We need spruce slab, spruce fence, spruce trap door, and granite wall. Keeping all these ones up here, and then these ones are the ones you're going to need. Um, you'll also need the andesite wall, the iron bars, and levers as well, which I <laughs> forgot to grab. There we go, lever. Um, okay, so yeah, these ones down here, just keep these around. Come to the middle, add a light grey concrete there. That's right in the middle spot. And then one behind it. And then a polished andesite in front of it. Okay. And another one that you need is going to be the stripped spruce wood. And that's going to be uh, one there facing away from the andesite. There as well. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And then one in the middle like that. So you should get this pattern. Top half spruce slab there. And then with the granite walls, that's one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So we're building that main body now, which is fine. Spruce trap door, one, two. One more strip spruce wood on the front. And then spruce fence, one and two. Okay. That's it for the main body for this layer. Take the deep slate tile slabs, that's one and two on top of those gray concrete. And then with the polished andesite slab, I did uh, one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, and again. So yeah, um, polished there, there, and there like that. This is a polished full block on both sides. There we go. And then a top half polished andesite slab there, and there as well light grey concrete and then a bottom half slab there one there as well taking your iron bars that's one two so that second one should be uh, not quite connected to that slab but that's fine two of those there as well and then the andesite wall one two whoops and we'll just do the same on this side so I don't get too far behind um, so that's top half slab there, there as well. Light grey, light grey, slab, slab. Two, two, one there, one there. That should be everything. Um, on the front one only, we're going to take a, a nether brick wall. Don't use these very often. Um, but that's going to go just there and there as well. Remember, that's just the front one, so on the green line. The back one doesn't have that. Taking the levers, that's one, two there, two there as well, two there, two there, and you're going to flip all of them down. There we go. And after that, that's uh, going to be it for that layer. So let's move on up to the next one, which is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and layer number seven. So let's go. Okay, my uh, my inventory is basically full at this point, so I'm just going to grab materials as I need them. Uh, but for this layer, we need the Acacia trap doors, or Acacia, or Akakia, <laughs> if you want to pronounce it like that. Uh, Grey banner, red nether bricks. Come to the middle here. Um, and we are going to take the strip spruce wood. We want to do... Uh, one there like this, so obviously get the pattern so it's sideways. You'll have to do like a temporary or do it like that, I guess. Um, so yeah, two of those. Make it three and four. And then in the middle, you can do one there and two more. Um, you can replace that middle one if you want to make it like that, which I have done. With the spruce slab, remember to keep that gray banner. So that's a spruce slab there there as well and then a lever one and two and that's just in line with the uh, connector arm thing red and the bricks just goes there top half uh, spruce slab now there like that and then you need a dark oak sign one and two 
Um, yeah, sorry about that jump cut there if you saw that. Um, the dog has been very annoying today. I guess you can use a temporary block. Do four of those. Just the andesite, um, I guess, works. But we will remove that in a second. Um, do one on the left and right of it. And then three trap doors like that. So obviously the, the one outwards from the rest of what we were building down here. Then you need the uh, diorite slabs of polished ones. Three of those top half. And then one of those is going to be bottom half. Like that. And again. One, two, three. And then a bottom half one. Uh, it's just going to go there. Okay. Then skipping out by one, you want to do a terracotta block there, there as well. And a grey concrete. One and two. Taking your iron bars now. Yeah, we're really running out of space here. Um, iron bar there and there. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Um, so there, one there as well. Grey banner on the inside of both. Iron bars. Um, have I done that in the right place? Yes. The iron bars there. Iron bars there as well. Um, and then I guess we'll do this on the other side too. So, bottom half, top half, two, three. Bottom half, top half, two, three. And then three trapdoors like that. Okay. Uh, middle bit's done, so that's good. And... Yeah, that basically does it for that layer. So let's move on up to the next one, which I've forgotten the number of, but yeah, it exists. All right, for this one, starting down here, we're going to do three more trap doors on top of the ones we did before. Like that. And then we need brown carpet this time, so another material. Two of those, two of those there. Like that. And then add in another one of the uh, terracotta blocks on top of the previous one. Um, so just there, there as well. I believe there's meant to be a spruce button on the outside of these uh, previous layer ones as well. So if we just add that one, two, three, and four like that. And then we need the spruce trap door. That's going to go on the outside of this one outside of that one and then again on this side and that side one two grabbing that grey banner two of those um, and that's it for the wheels for this layer pretty much so then come into the middle um, just trace down the center line here obviously where that lever is is the center kind of the, of the build um, and we're actually going to take a spruce stair I've run out of room in the inventory, so I will get rid of some stuff. Um, get rid of the observers. I don't think you need those anymore. Um, and maybe the nether brick fence as well. You can get rid of that. Um, get rid of the red nether bricks. I'm just throwing them all inside the building. I don't know why. Um, I think you can... Yeah, I think you can get rid of the grey glass pane. And then I just keep the rest for now, just in case. Um, so yeah, the stairs... Grab those, and remember in that center line, which is here, you want to put a stair, um, just like that. And then two strip spruce wood, a slab just there, slab here, slab here, two, and then one there as well. All right. That should hopefully take you to the front of that Asatia trap door, if you've done that all right. Okay. Right, so now we can actually work on the uh, the actual turrets of the of the vehicle. Um, so coming down to to here again, um, another new material. Surprise, surprise. This time we need the dark oak stairs. Um, so grab those. I'm going to do one of them. Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, so come to this bit here where the slab is and the full block and you want to do a upside down stair just there like that and then taking the spruce slabs that's going to be one behind it or to the left I guess if you're 
doing it in terms of the, the lines, the reference lines. Two and two, like that. Another stairs there and there. And then you want the spruce trap door as well. And that's one, two, and three. So again, um, I guess we could do this one first. Um, like that, there we go. And then top half slab, one, two, three, four, five. One, one. And then one, two, three. Okay. Um, two new materials. You want the skeleton skull and the wither skeleton skull. Um, so on here, there's two wither skulls on the front. And on the back, it's two skeleton skulls. So just like that. Um, if you are playing survival, obviously wither skulls are going to be a fair difficulty to get. Um, use um, normal skeleton skulls. Or if they are also hard to get, which I don't know, I don't really play survival, then use uh, maybe grindstones on the front and back. And that will apply for the uh, for the next layers as well, because we use a couple more. So, But anyway, other than that, that is going to be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. We're on the home stretch now. All right, next one up. Uh, quite a simple one, I guess, for this layer. Um, do another terracotta there, 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 and on this one. Another spruce button, like that. And also a, um, have I used one yet? No, I don't think so. Um, we need the, the, the fence, the Asatia fence. That's gonna be one there two, three, and four. So just uh, carrying on that outwards pattern that we've been building up to. Um, again, <laughs> my inventory is once, once again full. Um, use the gray banners. I think this is the last time we need them actually. Um, one, two, three, four. We need the stone brick wall. Um, and there's gonna be three of these here. Three of these here. And then with the dark oak fence gate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. With the grindstone, again, same thing. So the arms should be facing towards those fence gates. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On the front, using the wither skeleton skulls, one, two, three, one, two, three. And on the back, normal skeleton skulls. One, two, three, and three again. So yeah, that's looking really nice. There's one more layer on top um, to cover those up. Certain interpretations of the vehicle have it looking more like this um, the reference I followed has the top of these covered but you can always leave them like this if you want that more exposed kind of look and I think that looks quite nice actually um, but yeah we do have one more layer for this bit to go and then we will be moving on to just finishing off the wheel shape and then we'll be done um, so yeah that's that's it for this layer let's move on up to the next one All right so for this start off with our diorite wall um, we'll we'll start with the wheels first, I guess. Get these out of the way. Diorite wall is going to go on top of that um, fence on each side, and then there's going to be an iron bar. One, two, three, four, and there's going to be a polished andesite stairs as well, just there. Two, three, four. Coming back to the centre, we want to take the dark oak stairs. There's going to be one. Um, just there, two, three, like that. Grabbing the uh, the spruce slabs now. One, two, three, four, five, and then the trap doors once more. One, two, three, one, two, three, and um, two skeleton skulls on the back. And two with the skulls on the front. 
Simple as. <laughs> um, that finishes off the main body now. It's really nice. Um, so we're going to finish off the wheels in the next take, which will be good. Um, and then we'll do a post-build showcase. So let's, uh, let's move on to that. So starting off the final uh, one, two, three, four, five layers, I think it is. You want to start with a uh, terracotta there and there as well. And then just a button on the outside. Uh, there we go. Next up, uh, there is a granite wall on top of it. And also a polished andesite stairs facing inwards. So just like that. You want to do that again by four. Like so. You also want to take the iron bars, do two there two there as well two again two once more on top of that there's going to be a um, Asatia fence and then terracotta there there as well and then we're going to take the spruce button and do one on the side and then one on top this time again copying that over um, fence fence Full block, full block there, button on the side and top. And I would recommend doing the button uh, the same direction, so there we go. Just like that. Um, next, polished on the side stairs again, and then this time there's going to be a granite slab on top, polished. There we go. Like that. Um, terracotta full block again, four of those. Like that. Um, polished andesite slab and then polished granite slab on top. And you should be left with three in the middle now. Do three terracotta there and there, and then an iron trap door on those two and those two. Let's grab the uh, spruce buttons again, one there. One, one, and one there. One, 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 and one there. And then spruce trap door, one and two. Um, I think that's basically it now. Um, looks all good to me. But yeah, let's throw away the materials, and we're gonna put the shaders on. Do a quick post build showcase, and then uh, yeah, we'll get this video up. So here we go. Ooh, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit bright. Actually, we're gonna tone that down, make it more uh, Geonosis styled. Maybe that, or if we do eleven thousand, maybe that might look nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yikes, that lag there. Um, yeah, nice. Um, wow, wow, that is really bad. PC on the way out, I think. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. Um, yeah, cool. So yeah, the, the wheel shape was quite hard to do, but obviously from, from the side you definitely keep that. Um, and it looks really good. And then obviously you've got the slant as well, which um, which works really well. So I'm going to end this before the PC blows up. It just does this randomly sometimes for a couple of days and then goes back to normal. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you all <laughs> in the next one. Um, yeah, have a great evening. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.